Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a little bit different. It's not a vlog style. I thought to change it up because my life doesn't change that much. <laughs> Maybe the food does change, but you know from the title of the video what's in my Uniqlo bag. In this video, I'll also give some tips and tricks on getting that custom embroidery. Okay, and now I will show you my bag. And this is my Uniqlo bag, the round mini shoulder bag. So I got this back in summer and then I got a custom embroidery and I got this panda. And so I've also added, uh, it's a little like ratchet looking, like clearly you can see that it's getting a little dirty. But yeah, I got this keychain in Korea, I think in Gangnam Station. But yeah, it just, it says my melody, but it's clearly, clearly not, it's cinnamon roll, but whatever. I just added it because I feel like the pink kind of gives it a nice pop of color. I also use it especially when I was uh, traveling to, when I was in Korea, um, because it's like the perfect bag to just have like all my essentials but i don't want to carry like a big bag because like i don't need it i feel like nowadays i'm not i'm not really into the tote bags because everything just like goes at the bottom and it's so annoying so like i i like this kind of bag where it's like you can grab everything since it's not too like deep so this is what it looks like on the inside on one side i have like my makeup so i have my hera the infamous jenny lipstick color 174 so this is kind of my daily lipstick and i also have the this is just a great extra just to have just for touch-ups um and then in my other pocket i usually have some kind of mint to freshen up got this in my first vlog I feel like deep bags like tote bags this is the most useful but it's also just kind of cute to have in my bag um it's just like a key like key chain but it's four keys so that everything doesn't like fall to the bottom and it'll always stay on top because of the clip i have one my keys uh this is like that le seraphim yunjin uh cd and then this is the lottery. This is all for my vlog. If you haven't watched my other videos, go click that after you finish this one. And I have an air tag. And then I have Spy X. This is a Haikyuu uh, from, I got from a gotcha. It's huge just for this, basically. I have my wallet. This is from um, Matt and Nat. I try to bring my Polaroid camera as often as I can like an extra bag for if I do groceries or if I somehow do shopping then I don't have to use like plastic bags because Japan is so bad and that is not it you can even add a water bottle in here this is a great like I don't want to carry too much water but I know I should have water kind of water bottle all my friends make fun of me for this bottle like that you can just drink it in one, one gulp, but like, for me, I, I can't, maybe that's not good, but like, this is a great size for when I'm like walking around. And depending on the weather, I might add a small uh, umbrella. This is just kind of, this is so small, like it literally doesn't cover anything, but just in case. So for tips and tricks, Everyone goes, like, I've seen so many reels on people going to Ginza location because that is the flagship building is really cool, which is, I think, a great place to see it, especially if you want to go shopping. But in terms of the custom embroidery, I've, I've seen people say that they had to wait for two weeks and sometimes you're only visiting the area for a week or even less than a week. Even though I live here, I was like, two weeks for an embroidery? Like, I don't... Think I want to wait that long I think I'd want to get it like on the day of that's like really ideal so I was looking around and actually their Asakusa one location does it on the day of steps it's all in Japanese though so if you know what to do then it won't be too hard but you go into their Asakusa location 
and then you buy whichever color so i got the corduroy um, but they also have other options that's not corduroy as well like my sister has the one that's not corduroy so it's a little feels a lot smoother it's a like kind of a matte um texture um, and a different color too so like choose whichever based on what you want i went with cream because i feel like i can just match that with any type of outfit and it would work so that's kind of my uh, less practical because it gets very dirty very easily and then um you go to this customized section which is on the same floor as where you can get the bag so you could see there's like a bunch of tables it kind of looks like like the apple or the genius bar like it kind of looks like that so you go towards there there should be staff and if not then you could probably at, like ask around you could just point at the bag and be like uh can i get custom embroidery um and they should know all the steps and so you basically get a folder um, and it has a bunch of designs a little more limited than I thought it was but it's still like a good decent uh, selection there's a Japan exclusive embroidery so there's a lot of like Japanese traditional symbols I icons so you could choose those or there's animals you can do letters so you could choose based however big it is it also changes by price and of, of course if you add more embroidery then that's adding more to the price for my size i think that this was the smallest size it was uh 700 yen i believe if you also do your own designs it's a lot more because they have they, it's not like a template they already have in their uh, machine the prints are a lot cheaper it looks better i think the print will eventually wear off uh, staff will give you that like will give you a paper and it has all of these details that you will provide them and of course uh with like text and stuff you can also change the color the, there's also a little diagram of where you want to place this um embroidery and so i asked for the middle but it was kind of off off centered but it's okay it kind of looks cute but you can also do it on the sides like my sister she put it on the bottom to the left um of the bag but you could also put it here you could also put it here uh you could also put it in the back instead so you pay again and then um, they'll also tell you when you should come back again and uh, for me I came around 3 on a weekday and they said come back at 5 30 so I only had to wait two and a half hours as opposed to two weeks so if you go early in the day um, you can also like just walk around Sensoji temple eat something and then by that point it will be ready walk around Uniqlo, do some shopping as well do some damage floor you go to the very uh, first floor and there is a pickup um, counter and so you basically will get your receipt give it to them and then they will give you the finished product and so that's how you get your custom embroidery bag sometimes i feel like everyone has the same bag and it just doesn't feel like it's really your own now, this is also like a great gift idea so highly recommend getting this for yourself for your family for your friends for your partner i definitely recommend you going to the asaksa location not the ginza location ain't no way i'm waiting for two weeks that is my tips and tricks on getting this bag if you ever come to japan you are inspired as well to get this uh, it's a cute bag you guys enjoyed this sit down chill video next week it'll probably be a lot more um, a familiar vlog uh, video style vlog style so hopefully you're looking forward to that see you later shoo, shoo. <laughs> that's my cat but i just had coffee so i have a lot of energy